In an emergency, one call can bring help to the most remote locations and hope to the most desperate victims. I'm William Shatner. Tonight on Rescue 911, true stories of heroes who risk everything to save people in danger. On a chilly autumn day in Elkhart, Indiana, 19-year-old Paulette Whitner was driving her mother, Sheila, to their second jobs. Stunt people have helped us reconstruct their story. Paulette had only had her learner's permit for a month. She was still getting used to handling her mother's oversized wagon and its automatic transmission. I was doing okay until she started talking about, you gotta drive with one foot. I always drove with two feet. I can't help it. It's a habit. Near the six-span bridge, 24-year-old Todd Brill happened to be looking out the window of his mother's house. I was standing in the living room. My mom and her boyfriend were standing in the kitchen talking. When I was trying to drive with one foot, I messed up and I hit the accelerator. When I hit the yield sign, I panicked. The heavy car had flipped over midair and landed upside down in the St. Joseph River. There was a, a real fear there. You knew somebody had to be in that car. Todd's mother, Nancy Brill, immediately dialed 911. Police fire and ambulance. The call came in at 4.36 p.m. The car's gone into the river. The tremendous pressure of the water made it almost impossible to get the car doors open. He was down under there a long time. I remember Nancy looking to me very scared. And uh, I said, he'll be all right. But he was underwater longer than I thought he should have been. I got a big lump in my stomach. That truck could have slid in that river. There, there was a strong current there. Todd could have got trapped in the car. From up on the bridge, Nancy DeWitt had seen the car go over the side. At the time, I thought he had just come out of the truck. I didn't know he'd come out of the house. It was very cold. The water was cold. The air was cold. It was dark down there. You couldn't see nothing. There's no finding anything. No door handles, you couldn't find them. Couldn't find windows, things, nothing. We figured if we was going down, we was gonna go together, so. We held hands and fingers. When they got us either out, dead or alive, we'd be together still. I couldn't see anything, so I started feeling around. The only thing I was thinking of was, what if I can't get the people out of there? Felt around and grabbed what felt like a coat. And I just started pulling. finally managed to pull Paulette free and drag her toward the safety of the shore. On the way, I asked her if there was anybody else in the truck. I was yelling at her to come to me to get her out of the water. She kept running to stay in the water. She was screaming, my mother, my mother. Paulette was safe, but her mother was still trapped in the car, and time was running out. Todd finally pulled her out, and, and I thought she was dead. She appeared, I told Nancy, I said, that woman's dead. When I seen him pull her up, 
you know, I didn't know if she was alive or dead or what. So I said, look, I done killed my mom and all this. I'm screaming. Her body, just when it went, you know, onto the seawall and they laid it down, was just completely dead weight. And I thought, she's gone. When the paramedics arrived, Sheila was conscious, but having some trouble breathing. I kept screaming that she had the asthma, she needed to get out, she needed to breathe, she needed air. I was sitting there screaming hysterically and trying to calm me down. Hey, can you hear me? We had two of them in the water and just got them out there. How long have you been under? Todd was standing there in his wet clothes and it was very cold at this time of year and he was just shaking and just kind of staring over the whole scene. Looked to be kind of in a shocked state. Half an hour after the car went into the river, both mother and daughter were taken to a nearby hospital where they were treated and released. I went to Todd and I said, Todd, I'll always want you on my team. And those two women would have absolutely drowned if it hadn't been for Todd Brill. You know, you can think how you're going to react, but you never know until it happens. You know, I couldn't have said that I would have reacted this way when it happened. I'm just glad she didn't tell me there was a Boy Scout troop in there or something. Yeah, he's a hero to me. He didn't have to jump in that water twice and pull us out. He didn't save two, he saved three. Because we found out that night that she was pregnant. And she had a little boy. That's right. Paulette's baby son was born seven months after the accident. It's not every person that's going to just jump in the water twice when it's cold outside to go after people he doesn't even know. I said, a lot of times you read in the paper where somebody got killed and there's 400 people standing there watching it and nobody wants to step in, but he stepped in. He took that risk. They had called him right after I found out I was pregnant and asked him if it was a boy, could I name him after him? And he was pretty well honored. So the seven months later on Mother's Day, in fact, I had a little boy I named it Todd Allen right after him. Todd Brill was given a Carnegie Medal for risking his life to save the lives of strangers in the St. Joseph River.